In this video, we will show you step-by-step step how to create a professional Shopify store using GemPages. GemPages is one of the best and the most easy to use Shopify page builder. And once you understand how to use this app, you will be able to create a professional Shopify store just like this in GemPages in less than 10 minutes. What? So, let's not waste any time and get started. There are mainly three ways to design your store on GemPages and I will show you all three methods. But first, let's install the GemPages app. On your Shopify dashboard, click on Apps and then search for GemPages. We need to install this app to design our store. So click on this Install button. Then again, click on the Install button to install this app on your store. This is the dashboard of GemPages. It may seem overwhelming in the beginning, but you'll get used to it over time. To create a page, we need to click on Create a New Page option. Next, you can either start designing your page from complete scratch, or you can simply choose one of these templates. Gem Pages contain some of the most amazing website templates. These templates are conversion-friendly and can save you hours of extra work and cost of hiring a developer. But before that, I want to show you an overview of this page builder, so I will choose to design a page from scratch. This is the Gem Pages editor. On the left hand side, you'll see some options. First, we have the section blocks. Inside this, you can find so many pre made blocks that you can add into your page. You can also see the Browse Library option, which contains more pre designed sections and page templates. We will show you how to use these blocks later in the video. But first, you should look at the Elements tab. These elements are the foundation of any website. These elements help you structure and customize your entire website. If you don't know how to use these elements, you won't be able to create a unique, professional, and eye-catching storefront. Next, we have the Global Styles option, where we can manage the overall look and feel of our website. Next, we again have the Template section, which we'll cover later on. And lastly, we have the AI Website Generator, which will help you clone any website in less than a minute. I will show you how it works later on. First, let me show you how to use these elements. In the Elements tab, we have different layouts. These layouts will help us structure our page. You only need to choose one of the layouts and then drop it onto this blank canvas. And as you can see, we now have two columns on the page. And on the left-hand side, you can see all the customization options which will help you change the look and feel of both columns. Next, I will go back to the elements now, and then I will choose a heading element and drop it in the first column. Now you can select this dummy text and replace it with your own text. And on the left-hand side, you will have all the extra customization options. Let's say I want to change the heading background. I will simply go to background colors and choose a color for the background. You see how easy it is? I can also add a gradient if I want to. We also have the advanced editing options from where you can add some animations to this heading. We can also manage the animation intensity and speed. And let's say you want to delete this heading element. To do that, simply click on it and then click on this trash icon to fully remove it. You can also right click on the element you want to remove and then click on delete option. That shit is too easy, dude. Do it! Now, I will create a structure for my homepage. To do that, I will again select a two-column layout. Next, I will add a heading in the first column. Next, a paragraph below the heading. And then I will add a button here. I will also add an image in the second column. Lastly, I will add an icon list below the paragraph. And just like this, we have created the first section of our website. Next, it's time for us to create new sections. The goal is to give our website a user-friendly structure so that users can easily navigate through our online store. In the Elements tab, you can find dozens of elements that you can add into this page. You can simply drag and drop random elements from this list, and then play around with all the element settings to figure out the best designs for yourself. Of course, this step is for those who actually want to learn Shopify store designing and then work as a freelancer later on. But if you are a business owner, there is a quick and easy way for you to design your online store. You can use the pre-made templates and design your online store in less than 30 minutes. Here, 
You only need to click on Choose Templates option, which will open up the vast library of sections and templates. And then you can choose any of these sections and then add it into your store with just a click of a button. On the left-hand side, you can see that every section is categorized based on their uses. You can filter out sections using these options as well. Let's say that I want to add a product list. So I will go to product lists and then choose a suitable section for my page. This will add the product list into this page. And as you can see, they've replaced the watch images with our own products that we added earlier. You can repeat the same steps and add as many sections you want to. For example, first, I will add some brand images on the page. Next, I will add some trust badges on the page. Next, I want to add testimonials. So I will go to the testimonials tab and select the one I like. Similarly, I will also add some social proofs in this page. And just like this, we've created a structure for our store homepage. Now, all we need to do is go through each element and then change it as per our requirements. When you click on these elements, you'll see the editing options on the left side. And just like we showed you earlier, you only need to play around with these options and make changes as per your needs. And once you are done with the changes, you can either save it or directly publish it by hitting the publish button. All right, now I will show you how you can copy any e-commerce store design using AI. For the sake of this video, we are going to copy this store design. As you can see, this store design is eye-catching and contains a lot of structures, which are not possible to create within Shopify. And even when you are using a page builder, it is hard to replicate these types of design manually. But with the help of gem pages, we can replicate this entire home page in less than three minutes. To do that, we need to go back to our dashboard. Next, go to create a new page option and then start from scratch. Now click on start with AI option here. Next, we only need to copy the store URL and then paste it into this section and then click on generate. Now, gem pages will take a couple of minutes to proceed. First, it will capture an image from the URL. Next, it will detect all the sections of the image. Then it will split images into different sections. And just like this, Gem Pages AI will clone the website we gave it. As you can see, it hardly took 40 seconds to clone this entire website. On the right-hand side, you can see all the sections. If you want to remove a specific section, you can simply untick the box and it will be removed. For now, we will click on this Generate button to create our website. And as you can see, every single section from that website is now copied by Gem Pages. Now we can simply edit these sections and replace all the content and images with our own. Gem Pages has already replaced their products and added our own products here. That's how you can easily copy any e-commerce store with the help of Gem Pages. If you have any questions regarding Gem Pages or Shopify, feel free to ask us in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video.